Welcome to my video. In the previous video, we created the car, and in today's video, we will fill its bottom, create wheels for it, and fill it with some colors. Click I button to watch the previous video to get started. You can download this exact model that I made on my Gumroad. Click the link in description to get it. This file is also available on my Patreon. Let's start filling the bottom of the car. Select the outer vertices carefully where the tire will go. Select same vertices from backside too. Now press Shift plus D to duplicate. Press Shift plus H to hide everything else, and then extrude these vertices backwards to create space for the tires. Now scale them at Y axis by zero to straighten the vertices up. Delete any extra faces. Now let's fill the bottom of the car. I will speed up the video to make sure that you do not get bored. Add a circle and place it on the tire and align it. We are going to use its origin to find the center of the tire. Now hold Shift plus Z and choose Cursor to select it to bring 3D cursor in the center of circle. Delete the circle and add a new one and change its vertices to 100 before clicking anywhere else. Divide it in half and then leave 10 10 vertices from the divided parts and join the 10th vertices from each side together. Now add a vertex on both the edges and merge them at center. Now we have divided the circle into one tenth of its part. Delete every other vertex and let's start to model the spokes. Model the spoke by extruding vertices inside the part and make sure to not change the position of any vertex of the part of circle. Now you can delete the extra edges that we do not need. Select the spoke we just created and add a mirror modifier to it with clipping enabled. It should align perfectly. Apply the modifier and let's create the full wheel. Tab into edit mode, select everything, and then use spin tool. Change the axis to zero and Y axis to one to correct the rotation. It could be different for you. Now check mark the use duplicates options Change the angle to 288 degrees and steps to four. You should have a perfect circular wheel now. Select everything. Press M and choose Merge by Distance option to merge the overlapping vertices. Now select these outer vertices step by step. Right click, choose Loop Tools and then Circle to create a perfect circle. Also do it to the outer circle. Now select the wheel, bring it forward and extrude it to give it a bit of thickness.
Select the outer faces and scale them down. Extrude them again to the same size. Add one more loop cut on both sides to divide it even more. Extrude the top part a little bit to make room. Select the middle circle and scale it a little bit to smoothen the edge. Also, extrude the outermost faces from the top to create a rim. Now extrude the rim backwards and add a loop cut, and then extrude those faces to the same level as front ones. Now let's give depth to our wheel. Select the inner vertices and move them forward while proportional editing is enabled and use scroll wheel to control the effect. Then move the vertices backward with less diameter to make a curved shape. Select the interface and then extrude them. Right click, choose loop tools and choose circle to make a perfect circle. Now add five loop cuts to both sides. Select these middle faces and delete them. Select the vertices, create circle and loop tools and bridge them. There you go, we have created the hole for bolt. Now let's duplicate it to the other sides too with the help of spin tool. Select the faces to be replaced from all sides and delete them. Now select the same number of faces from part we want to duplicate from. Use Spin Tool, check mark the used duplicates, change Y axis to 1 and Z axis to 0, then change the angle to 288 and steps to 4. You should have them perfectly aligned now. Also select everything and use Merge by Distance option to merge overlapping vertices. Let's create tire now. Select the outermost edges, duplicate them, and then extrude them. Bridge the gap between them and adjust the settings. Now recalculate the normals by pressing Shift plus N and then scale the tire from top to make it wide. Bevel the corners. Now let's create the disc brake. Duplicate the edge ring from inside, extrude it and give it a disc type shape. Now let's move on to calipers. Add a cube and align it according to the blueprint. Add some loop cuts and adjust them to give it the shape of caliper. Now add the loop cuts according to the shape of caliper.
Extrude some parts to give it the correct shape. Now you can delete the top part and add mirror modifier to reduce your work. Select these faces and extrude them out. Add a mirror modifier with clipping checked. Add a loop cut in the middle and bevel it to create the groove for disc. Delete the touching faces and fill the sides of Grove by extruding vertices. You can decrease the size of the caliper if you want. It was looking too wide to me. Also make it bit narrow from top and bottom by scaling down these vertices. Now let's add bolts to our wheel. But before that, Go to extensions.blender.org, find Bolt Factory Extension, and install it to your blender. Now press Shift A, go to Mesh, and you should have an option to add bolt there. You can adjust the setting if you want a different type of bolt or a nut, but I am going to keep it same. Now align it with the wheel. I am deleting the geometry that is not visible. Now duplicate the bolt to the other holes with the help of spin tool. Fill the middle gap too by extruding vertices. Now mirror the tire to the other side, then duplicate it and place it on the back side also. Congratulations, the car is ready. Now let's add some colors to the car. Firstly, let's start with the tire and wheels. Select the tire, go to edit mode, select the disc and give it a shiny metallic material. Now select wheel by pressing L on the wheel and give it a shiny black metallic material. After that, select the tire and give it a black material with high roughness. You can also keep the roughness low, but don't make it too shiny. Now assign the same material to the back wheel also. Also give a metallic red material to the calipers.
Choose a good car paint material and then add it to the car body. Now select all the windows and glasses of the car and give it a black shiny material. Select the car headlight and add a white emission material to them. Select the backlight and add a red emission material to them. Now select the parts I am selecting and give them a black material. Also give a little shiny black material to the back bumper of the car. There you go, the car is ready. You can download this exact model that I made on my Gumroad.